on beyond the headlines and I might get some flack for it, but I, <laughs> bruised and battered, I don't think I could take any more. Um, I'm going to do something different tonight. I'm going to ask that we close beyond the headlines tonight with a prayer. I'm going to ask Bishop Clyde Harvey to lift up Grenada, especially the people who are depressed, people who are hopeless because they've lost their jobs, don't know where to turn. Bishop Clyde Harvey. A prayer to close beyond the headlines tonight as an orthodox Mrs. Nichols, you want to have in Jesus name amen. amen on that note we close tonight's edition of beyond the headlines I want to say a very special thank you to our panelists for agreeing to be part of the program and for having such an enriching discussion now we hear the report joins the rest of the national and regional community in extending our deepest and profound condolences to the immediate family of the late Odette Best Campbell, as well as to the management and staff of the Grenada Broadcasting Network on her untimely passing. Like the rest of the national community, we too were shocked and surprised by the early morning announcement on May 2nd, since I personally spoke to Mrs. Campbell only on Thursday, April 20th, about a newsworthy event happening here in the Washington, D.C. area, involving a tribute to late Prime Minister Maurice Bishop. Although Odette and I only worked together for a short time, we had many conversations about her approach to managing news and programming content that was published at the Grenada Broadcasting Network. Odette will be the first to tell you that we disagreed strongly on some of those approaches one of which involved a contribution I personally made on one of GBN's primetime programs. The nature of our disagreements were mostly philosophical. We mostly butt heads around the gatekeeping function of the journalist and the editorial obligations of the newsroom and broadcast manager in striking a balance between independence and control. Regardless of who was right or wrong, the disagreements allowed us to find points of agreement and at other times, areas where we agreed to disagree. Our conversations over the years helped me to appreciate the challenges of a media manager, as Odette was, in the context of an extremely litigious environment where lawyers representing some elected politicians in Grenada were quick to send pre-action protocol letters to the network over comments made by guests and contributors on different programs that may have been borderline libelous and defamatory. The pressures of a broadcast house manager in the context of a media market like Grenada is such that one fights battles on many fronts. You face the music not only from the advertisers, but also from shareholders and the board of directors. In fact, unionized employees at the network also picket GBN, picketed GBN over fundamental disagreements with their boss. At the end of the day, however, managers become the face of unseen forces when unpopular decisions are made. And for Odette, this was no different. Odette's rise, however, to prominence in Grenadian media was paved with hard work grit and struggle in her early days at the Grenada Informer and at the state-owned Grenada Broadcasting Corporation at the time, where she was a stringer reporter. Odette entered the field of media as an optimistic young woman from the tiny village of Willis and Annadale and was easily overlooked by some media managers in Grenada owing to her place of origin and her gender. Like many women in the Grenadian media landscape of the early 80s, she proved every doubter that she had what it took to make a valuable contribution to the Grenadian media landscape. How then does one say goodbye to a life that feels like it was suddenly cut short? May we find comfort of the iconic Caribbean in the iconic Caribbean poet Martin Carter of Guyana who eloquently opined the following, quote, death must not find us thinking that we died. Too soon, too soon, our banner draped for you. I would prefer the banner in the wind not so bound so tightly in a scarlet fold, not sudden, 
sudden with your people stares, but flashing on the pole, we bear aloft down and beyond this dark lane of rags. Now from the morning vanguard moving on, unquote. May Mrs. Odette Best Campbell rest in peace and may her memory be a blessing. Hi everyone, thanks for checking out the Bob Report's social media pages. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch our weekly live show, follow our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can catch repeat episodes on Wednesdays at 4 and 5 p.m. respectively on CRFM Radio and GBN TV in Grenada. We are also viewed on Sundays at 8 p.m on WPG10 throughout the Caribbean. Thanks for watching.